let's see what it looks like to add documents to a batch with a document set, and then we'll take a look at exporting that data. So I'm just going to quickly switch projects here. And I'll create a new batch. And I'll load images into that batch. And you can see that we're adding images. And once images have been added, we can actually go ahead and open up the batch and see recognition taking place. So the first document definition has been recognized, now the second, but it hasn't been formed into a document set just yet. And now all the documents have been recognized and placed within this document set. So a simple way to check export capabilities is to simply right click on a batch, click export to, and we can export, for instance, images to files. And we can check our settings. And for the PDF output, we can select whatever we need to here, what our resolution is, whether or not we want to use compression. And we can also change our name template. So I could use just image underscore and they'll be automatically numbered. Or I could use the actual document definition name. And just leave it at that, keep it really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and export. And the documents have completed exporting. So let's take a look at the export folder. And here we have all the different document definition names, the single files that have been uh, exported. Like the W2 form is associated with the W2 form document definition. And here is that single file, payment check 1099 form. But what's really cool is we also have this export, the mortgage document set.pdf. And if you look at the file size, it's much larger. And if we open this document up, we don't just have one single child document, but we actually have them all. And this can be extremely helpful and useful. And it's very, very simple to set up. Thanks for watching.